Hello, Assalamualaikum everyone. Uh, welcome to Economatic and Research Gateway. In previous video, we talk about uh, the topic and the methodological steps involved in uh, uh, applying a method of moment quantile regression with the help of one of the latest publication from Energy Economics. Now, we are moving towards uh, the second video in which we will talk about the descriptive statistics and the cross-sectional dependence analysis. Okay. So, without wasting time, let me show you the data. This is actually the data file. Here we can find the IDs, years, and the rest of the variables. Here ID stand for, you can say, the cross-sectional unit of observation. In our example, we are following the OECD economies. You can see that the authors has considered uh, almost 21 economies for the data analysis, starting the data from 1992, 2000, 20 for each of the cross-section units. Here comes your uh, dependent variable uh, named as uh, uh, carbon emission CO2, X, EX stand for your export, import, IM import, GI green innovation, EPS, uh, environmental policy stringency, and GDP gross domestic product. Here comes, you can see the green financing, financing, and afterwards here comes the first difference of all of these variables. So first thing first, what we have to do, we have to copy this data. Select the data, control A in your Excel sheet, control C. We need to open the stata. This is actually the stata window. I'm using the stata 17. You can also use uh, the other version as well. And uh, if uh, uh, any command is not available for the uh, proper working, you may install it. Okay, so here comes uh, the data editor window. Just click on this tool. Here words, you need to just paste the data, control V. It will ask whether the first row is a variable name or the data. So the first row is basically your variable names. Okay, just click it. Now the data is okay by all means. Just cross this window. Here comes the data. So after pasting the data, what we have to do, simply we need to uh, describe our data as panel data. So for this one, the command is very simple. XT set space. Here comes your ID. And afterwards, you need to put the years and so it will describe that your data is strongly balanced right away from 1992 2020. So afterwards, now we have to move on towards applying the descriptive statistics. Uh, so let me show you that paper. Here comes the paper which we are following. Here comes the table one. Here comes the descriptive statistics. Your variables mean standard deviation, minimum, maximum, sequence, uh, sequence and cortices, uh, jet prara and p value of the jet prara test. Okay. So the command for uh, getting the descriptive statistics is quite simple. You need to write s two double m sum the list of your variables. Here comes CO two export import green innovation EPS GDP and uh, green financing as well and green financing yes exactly comma details you need to write the uh, word detail uh, the command detail as well because it will provide you the detailed descriptive of so uh, sorry we need to write the detail okay so here comes your descriptive statistics. You can find that for all of the variables, you can find the detailed descriptive statistics. By the way, if you don't need to get the detailed descriptive statistics, you simply need to write some and the name of your variable. So this is actually, you can say the output. You can just compare this output, this table with this one. Here comes, let me show you. Yes. Here comes the CO2 emission. You can find CO2 emission having a mean score of 2.371. Here comes the green financing. Here comes the green financing. It comes 1.245. This one afterwards GDP. GDP having a mean score of 11.86 and so on. Afterwards, you have a standard deviation. You have a standard deviation. You have a minimum values and you have a maximum values. So this is all about how you can find the descriptive statistics statistics with the help of strata. In the next step, what we have to do, we need to find the values of the values of JET Pratest, JB test, along with its p-value. 
basically the Jerkbra test will help us to finalize whether the data is normally distributed or not. So here the H1 um, assumes that the data is normally distributed whereas the H H0 assumes the data is normally distributed, whereas the H1 indicates data is not normally distributed. So the command for the jug prior test is very simple. You need to write JB space name of your variable. For example, we need to find we are interested in finding the jug prior test uh, statistics for the carbon emission. You need to write JB CO2 enter. So here comes the value of uh, Jagbra test 62.02 you, you can find the same score over here 62.02 and here comes the p value you can find the p value is 3.4 e 14 means this value is for uh, uh, less than 0 0.00 so it is highly significant that one person means that data for the carbon emission is uh, not normally distributed because h naught is saying that data is normally distributed because we are rejecting H0. So the data for your uh, carbon emission is not normally distributed. Same case for the rest of the variable, we need to repeat this process. Here comes EX, again 10. This is also significant mean. Data is not normally distributed for the export. Here comes the import as well. The same, it is not normally distributed. Afterwards, it comes GI. It comes EPS, EPS, and it comes GDP, and last one is your green finance. So we just need to comparison any of these values with what is actually published in the paper. For example, the Jagbra test value for the green finance is 534.9. 534 okay. So this is actually for the green finance 534.9. So we will use less than 1%. So except our green innovation, the rest of the variables are highly significant and 1% claiming that they have non-normal distribution of the data. So